Hi there, welcome back to WP Expo. In this video, I am going to show how you can create a custom archive page template in WordPress. But before going into that, you should have an idea about the archive page template. A WordPress archive page template is a pre-assigned archive page structure that includes the category, author, search result, and date pages. Now, we are going to design a new template from scratch and replace it with the default archive template of our WordPress theme. For that, we are going to use the powerful builder add-on of PostX. It is an all-in-one solution to redesign all pages of a website dynamically. But, first of all, install the PostX plugin. After installing and activating the PostX plugin, go to the add-ons section and make sure that the site builder add-on is turned on. Now go to the builder section. Here you can see all available options. For now, let's click on archive. Here, you can see two options. Either we can start from scratch, or we can also start with any of the available templates. First of all, I will start with a pre-made template. Later, I will also show the process of starting from scratch. So, please watch the full video for a better understanding. To start with a pre-made template, click on the import button. Here, you can see that the pre-made template is imported to a page. Now, either we can publish it, or we can also customize it as per our needs. But before going into that, you should know that this template is built with multiple blocks of post X. All of the blocks are located on the left side. You can see them by clicking on the plus icon. So you can customize all of the blocks individually. To customize any of the blocks, click on the block and you will see the customization options for the particular block. But before going into that, let's see how we can create an archive page template from scratch. For that, click on the start from scratch option. Instead of importing a pre-made template, here, you can see that the template is blank, and we need to fill it up by using the blocks of post X. First of all, let's add the archive title. It is displayed as a dummy text, and it will replace with the actual archive title. Now, let's see the customization option. First of all, we can change the layouts and positions. Moreover, we can hide or unhide the title. Once you enable the title, click on the dropdown to see the available customization options. Then you can also add the prefix text just before the archive title if required. And this option also comes with so many customization options. At last, we can enable the excerpt and customize it as per our needs. If we enable it, the description will be displayed along with the title. Now, let's add a post displaying block. For that, post X offers multiple post grid and post list blocks. For now, let's add the post grid block one. And, we can customize all of the elements of this block. We have tutorial videos for all of the post blocks of post X. You can watch those videos. The links will be in the description. After you are done with the customization, click on the publish button. Once you click on the publish button, you will see the condition selection option. As I want to create one single template for all archive pages, I am keeping the condition as it is. However, you can also create separate templates for authors, date, search results, categories, and tags by selecting the desired condition. After selecting the condition, click on the Save button and see how it looks at the front end. Here you can see that all of the archive pages are exactly same as the templates that we have just created. So that's all from this video. You can learn more about creating and customizing archive page templates from the blog post. The post link will be in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.